Over 60 million adults in the United States live with some form of significant disability, and many have difficulty earning a living because of it. Fortunately, there are three major types of disability benefits available that can help these very deserving people. But here's the bad news. Unfortunately, two-thirds of all disability claims are denied every year by either an uncaring government bureaucracy or those insurance companies who care about profits instead of people. Today we're going to discuss what people with disabilities can do to protect themselves from the frustration and disappointment that often come with filing a disability benefits application. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh and with me today is attorney Mark Whitehead, a board certified disability attorney and founding partner of Mark Whitehead and Associates, a national disability benefits law firm. Today Mark is going to help us understand what you can do if you're denied your disability benefits. Now, Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, you have had over 30 years of experience assisting individuals and helping them win their disability claims. Can you give us, first of all, a brief overview of the three major disability systems in the United States and how they're connected to each other? Sure. So there's three types of programs that can benefit people that are disabled and can no longer earn an income. Um, the first um, and the most common is the Social Security Disability Insurance Program run by the Social Security Administration. Um, the second is private disability insurance, what we frequently call long-term disability insurance. Um, and that is generally a program that people get the benefit of by virtue of their employment um, through their employee benefits package. Um, usually the insurance companies are companies such as Unum, Hartford, Aetna, um, a lot of the big names that people uh, have heard over the years. And then finally, for our veterans, uh, there is a specific program unique to veterans called the uh, Veterans Disability Compensation Program. Um, that is for veterans that have received um, a uh, acceptable discharge and have had some sort of in-service occurrence in the line of duty um, that has caused them to have a disability later on in life. Gotcha. So it sounds like a lot of coverage is available to people. But as I said earlier, so many applications are denied. Can you explain why these disability applications are being constantly denied? Yes. Well, the, there's, there's two reasons, depending on which program you're looking at. Um, the first, if you're talking about the government, either the Social Security Administration or uh, the Veterans Administration, you're talking about dealing with a huge government bureaucracy. Um, and all the baggage that comes along with that. When you're talking about a private disability insurance company, um, what you're really looking at is a company that, has, that is driven by profit um, and profit motives. I mean, the, the way insurance companies make money is they sell policies and hope they never have to pay out on them. What can deserving applicants actually do to improve their chances of getting the money that they deserve? So the first and most important thing is you need to educate yourself on, on the system, that whichever system that you're involved with, you need to educate yourself on what is necessary to prove your claim. You need to have a thorough understanding of the actual process of filing applications. Um, if you're denied, how you appeal your applications, you need to understand the deadlines involved. Um, you need to understand sometimes medicine, medical terminology, um, and really what you need is perseverance because frequently what we see is the key is you have to keep appealing and appealing and appealing and appealing. And the biggest mistake people make is giving up too soon. Yeah, in many ways, it is an endurance test. We're going to take a quick break now. Make sure you stay with us. At the end of this program, we'll discuss some free resources that Mark is offering to our viewers and how you can get them. We'll be right back. Attention, disabled workers and veterans. This is a legal alert. Has Unum, Hartford, Cigna, or another insurance company denied your disability insurance claim? Have your Social Security disability benefits been denied? Are you a military veteran that has been denied your VA disability benefits? If your disability claim has been denied, you're left wondering how you're going to pay your bills, your rent, or your car payment. The time to legally appeal your disability denial is very short. 
statistics show your chances of winning a disability award are far greater with an attorney. Now is the time to take action. Call Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney with over 30 years of experience in making insurance companies and the government keep their promise. He's helped thousands win their disability benefits. If you've been denied disability benefits by an insurance company, the Social Security Administration, or the VA, you can fight back. Go to MyDisabilityHelp.com or call for a free case evaluation. No fees unless you win your case. Call now. Welcome back to our show. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh, and with me today is Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney and founder of Mark Whitehead & Associates, a national disability law firm. On today's program, we're discussing how you can protect your rights if you've been denied the disability benefits that you deserve. So Mark, let's start by talking about the Social Security Disability System, the most commonly known disability program. I, even I've heard about it. Social Security Disability Applicants face an overwhelming, I gotta, can't even believe this number, I thought it was a mistake when I read it, 70% denial rate, which means that only 30% who apply actually get the benefits they deserve. Now, considering how high this percentage is, what can people do to improve their odds of winning their Social Security disability benefits? Well, first off, uh, as we stated early in the program, uh, education and thorough preparation of your claim. Uh, so one of the things that uh, um, the Social Security Administration has established is what's called the five-step sequential evaluation, which is the process how, by which they evaluate all disability applications. Well, most individuals have never heard of such a thing um, and don't know what that is, but if, but if you take the time to educate yourself on what those five steps are and prepare your application ahead of time with those five steps in mind, um, I think you would drastically improve your chances at the initial application level. Oh, and I bet they've set up even deadlines to make it hard for people. Well, yes. So one of the key things to remember, um, since 70% are denied at their initial application, is that you have a right to appeal. But your appeal deadline is incredibly short. It's only 60 days. Wow. And if you let your appeal lapse within that, without appealing within that 60-day period, you have to go back to square one and start over, all over again. And I'm sure there are questions that you need to be asking your doctor to make sure you get the right reports. Yeah, so one of the things that um, when you're dealing with doctors, number one, you need to have a doctor on your side. But the thing is that the doctors typically don't understand the disability system. And a, and a classic example would be a doctor writing a letter on behalf of their patient saying, uh, my patient is disabled, please give them disability benefits. Well, that's great, but it absolutely does nothing to help the claim um, because the doctor doesn't understand what the technical requirements are. Um, so not only do you have to educate yourself, you need to educate your doctor on how to properly fill out applications, to properly render opinions that can actually be useful um, in getting your disability benefits granted. It is such a complicated system. What should someone do if their initial application is denied? Well, it's at this level generally that you would want to bring in an experienced attorney to help you file your disability appeal. First of all, remember you only have 60 days to do it um, and it will take some time for your lawyer to perfect that appeal. So you want to get started early, find a qualified attorney um, and get the process started. Okay, this is such important information for so many of our viewers. We're gonna pause here, Mark, but when we come back, we'll be discussing private long-term disability insurance benefits and how you can fight back against the profit-motivated insurance companies. And later in the program, we'll discuss the free resources that Mark is offering for our viewers today. Don't go away. Attention, disabled workers and veterans, this is a legal alert. Has Unum, Hartford, Cigna, or another insurance company denied your disability insurance claim? Have your social security disability benefits been denied? Are you a military veteran that has been denied your VA disability benefits? If your disability claim has been denied, you're left wondering how you're going to pay your bills, your rent, or your car payment. 
the time to legally appeal your disability denial is very short. Statistics show your chances of winning a disability award are far greater with an attorney. Now is the time to take action. Call Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney with over 30 years of experience in making insurance companies and the government keep their promise. He's helped thousands win their disability benefits. If you've been denied disability benefits by an insurance company, the Social Security Administration, or the VA, you can fight back. Go to MyDisabilityHelp.com or call for a free case evaluation. No fees unless you win your case. Call now. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh, and I'm here with disability attorney Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney and founder of Mark Whitehead & Associates, a national disability law firm. Today we're breaking down disability benefits and what you can do to receive the benefits that you deserve. You should know that roughly 53% of long-term disability claims are actually denied at the initial claim stage every year. Now, many more are denied after receiving only a few months of benefits. With insurance companies denying the majority of disability claims, Mark, I need to know, how can someone protect themselves when making their insurance claim? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to understand your insurance policy. Now, unlike the government programs, which have a set of static rules, um, every disability policy can differ, even within the same carrier. So, it depends on what uh, your employer negotiated when they bought the disability program, which is part of the employee benefits package. Um, and they are all structured differently. Now, there are some similar patterns that you should be aware of when looking at a disability insurance um, policy. Initially, there will be what's called a short-term um, disability portion to the policy, which can vary in length, but typically it's three to six months and the standard is a little different. Then after the short-term period has expired, you move into what's called the own occupation period, which can vary, but generally it's 12 to 24 months. And during that time period, what you have to prove to get disability insurance benefits is that you cannot go back and do your own occupation, meaning the occupation that you were doing at the time your disability began. The real problem comes after that own occupation period runs out. And let's just assume for our purposes that it runs out after 24 months. Then the insurance company will reevaluate your claim based on what's called an any occupation standard, which is a much, much, much tougher standard. Basically, you have to at that point prove you cannot do any occupation, which would be provide reasonable and gainful employment. Frequently, people are kicked off their policies at that point. And it's important that your attorney understands all these laws. Uh, not any, just any attorney can handle this kind of case, correct? That's correct. So these policies would be governed under a federal law known as the Employee Retirement Income Security Act, um, otherwise known as ERISA. Um, most attorneys are not familiar with ERISA. Most attorneys don't deal with ERISA in their day-to-day -day legal practice. So it's important to, when you're looking for an attorney to deal with uh, a disability claim with an insurance company, that they're experienced in federal ERISA law. That's the first question you'd want to ask if you were hiring an attorney. Um, there are a lot of traps in ERISA. There are a lot of things that even experienced lawyers don't know and do not anticipate um, and can lead to a lot of bad results. Mark, you mentioned deadlines before. Can you give us an overview of some of the important deadlines that people need to keep in mind? Sure. So the first thing under federal ERISA law is that you have a mandatory administrative appeal that you must file. Um, and if you fail to do that, um, your claim uh, basically is waived. The way the statute is set up is you have 180 days to file that administrative appeal. That's the first deadline that you have to deal with. Now, 180 days may sound a little bit better than the Social Security system, which only gives you 60 days. Right, so long-term disability, you have six months. Social Security, you have 60 days. But why isn't six months even that long? So six months is not that long because uh, 
an appeal of a disability insurance denial is much more complicated. Um, it requires that you get expert reports. It requires that you provide certain medical documentation um, and opinion evidence from your doctors. Uh, frequently, you have to hire a vocational expert to actually render a vocational opinion. All of that takes time. Um, in addition to that, you simply have to be able to request the file from the insurance company, which is about a 30 to 60 day process just to get the file. So all of these, these things add up. Um, so 180 days is not nearly as long as what it sounds. We're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, we'll discuss the third disability program that our veterans will want to pay close attention to, the VA disability system. Also, later in the program, we'll discuss the free resources that Mark is offering to our viewers today. Stay tuned. Attention, disabled workers and veterans, this is a legal alert. Has Unum, Hartford, Cigna, or another insurance company denied your disability insurance claim? Have your Social Security disability benefits been denied? Are you a military veteran that has been denied your VA disability benefits? If your disability claim has been denied, you're left wondering how you're going to pay your bills, your rent, or your car payment. The time to legally appeal your disability denial is very short. Statistics show your chances of winning a disability award are far greater with an attorney. Now is the time to take action. Call Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney with over 30 years of experience in making insurance companies and the government keep their promise. He's helped thousands win their disability benefits. If you've been denied disability benefits by an insurance company, the Social Security Administration, or the VA, you can fight back. Go to MyDisabilityHelp.com or call for a free case evaluation. No fees unless you win your case. Call now. Welcome back to our show. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh with Mark Whitehead, attorney at law, guiding us through the complex journey of disability benefits. You should know that only 19.5% of our veterans will actually receive disability benefits. Of those who do receive benefits, they often have to fight two, three, or even four years to get the disability benefits they deserve. Now, this is so heartbreaking and unfortunate considering all the sacrifices that these good citizens have made for our country. Mark, can you explain the VA process and how veterans can more effectively navigate this, this frustrating system? Yeah. Um, absolutely. You know, and in this system is kind of near and dear to my heart uh, because I grew up with a disabled veteran, uh, my uncle, and uh, I used to see as a, as a child um, the difficulty that he had in getting his disability benefits. I mean, he would just get letter after letter from the Veterans Administration denying his claim, and it literally took six to seven years to get his disability benefits that he had earned through his service in World War II and um, in the Korean War. Um, the system is antiquated. Um, the technical abilities of the VA are very out of date. So at the very beginning, um, the process will be extremely slow and, and very different from the other disability systems. Now that is improving over time, but they are still not technically where the other disability systems are, which is the very first problem within the system. Secondly, it's complicated. And, and for good reason it's complicated because there are so many different sub programs within the VA disability compensation system. There's a, there is a program for Agent Orange. There is a program for Gulf War veterans. There is a program for um, widowers. And, um, so there are a lot of different sets and subsets of rules depending on the various and unique types of claims that you can bring uh, within the VA compensation system. Um, but all of that leads to basically a system that takes many, many years um, for most claims to be processed. Now I'm going to ask you a technical question. I hope you can explain it simply because we didn't go to law school. Can you explain the system application 21526EZ? What does that mean? <laughs> well, quite simply, that is simply the form that you have to fill out, that the veteran has to fill out um, to initiate the claims process. Now, once that application is filed, 
Um, you know, you may get a positive result, you may not. Um, the key is if you do get a denial, um, that it's extremely important at that point to seek um, professional legal help um, to appeal that denial. Um, the process um, can be complicated and it frequently lasts two, three, four years or longer. Can you explain to our vets out there what mistakes they should avoid so they don't get caught in these traps? So, uh, well, the first and most obvious is, is missing a deadline. Once you file uh, your VA application um, and if you receive a denial, there are deadlines uh, of which to appeal that. That's the first one. Now, they can be up to a year, which sounds like a long time, but not necessarily, and there can be intermediate issues as well. Um, the second is basically in how the application asks about your disability. Um, quite frankly, it encourages a vet to um, frequently list things that are not relevant to their actual disability claim. And what you have is vets following the procedures that they, they, they think they are supposed to do. They, they list basically too many things. I've seen many applications that list 20 um, different things that may be wrong with them physically or mentally. However, if, if you do it smarter and combine that into usually two or three different types of overarching claims, you have a much better chance of actually moving yourself quickly through the system. Who knew that giving the full story would not be what they want? Sometimes less is more when it comes to the VA. Uh, you know, our brave men and women who sacrifice for this country, Mark, aren't used to reaching out for help. Uh, but you are here. And we're going to take a break now. And when we come back, we're going to teach you how you can reach out for help. We're going to dive into the free resources that Mark is offering. We'll be right back. Attention, disabled workers and veterans, this is a legal alert. Has Unum, Hartford, Cigna, or another insurance company denied your disability insurance claim? Have your Social Security disability benefits been denied? Are you a military veteran that has been denied your VA disability benefits? If your disability claim has been denied, you're left wondering how you're going to pay your bills, your rent, or your car payment. The time to legally appeal your disability denial is very short. Statistics show your chances of winning a disability award are far greater with an attorney. Now is the time to take action. Call Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney with over 30 years of experience in making insurance companies and the government keep their promise. He's helped thousands win their disability benefits. If you've been denied disability benefits by an insurance company, the Social Security Administration, or the VA, you can fight back. Go to MyDisabilityHelp.com or call for a free case evaluation. No fees unless you win your case. Call now. Welcome back to our program. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh, and with me today is Mark Whitehead, founder of the Mark Whitehead & Associates Law Firm, a national disability law firm. Today we've been discussing the programs available for the protection of the rights of our viewers who have been denied their disability benefits, either by a government bureaucracy or a profit-driven insurance company. Mark, we've talked about the disappointing statistics on how many people are wrongfully denied their disability benefits and the difficulties they have in getting those denials eventually overturned. What can a person with a disability, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, do to protect themselves? Uh, well, the first thing you can do is to educate yourself about the system that you're involved with. Um, the second thing that you should do is that you should seek um, trained legal counsel that has experience in your particular issue. Now, of course, you mentioned this educating, educating. It sounds very complex. I don't understand a lot of it. Am I right to say that you've authored three books on the subject? Uh, yes, I have. And I am offering them to our viewers today for free. Well, that's good news. The books are called The Social Security Disability Puzzle, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery, and Veterans Disability Claims, Strategies for Winning a Campaign. And Mark, how can our viewers get their hands on a copy of your book? 
Well, they can visit our website at mydisabilityhelp.com for a free downloadable copy. That's mydisabilityhelp.com. Now, you mentioned earlier, Mark, the importance of finding excellent legal representation. What should our viewers look for when they're choosing an attorney to help them with their disability benefits appeal? Well, first of all, you need to find an attorney that's experienced in the particular disability or the disability system that you're involved with at the moment. Um, the first thing you could do is look for attorneys that are board certified in disability law. So it's okay to say, are you certified in disability law? Correct. Good, okay. Um, next, if you have a VA disability claim, um, the the rules, the federal law actually requires that your attorney be accredited by the VA compensation system, which is a process that attorneys have to go through to actually get approved to practice law before the Veterans Administration. Are you accredited with the VA? Correct. Good, okay. And finally, uh, for long-term disability insurance claims, uh, you wanna ask the question, are you experienced in federal ERISA law? So the unique thing about the disability systems that we've been discussing is that they're all federal programs. The good thing about that is that you don't have to necessarily rely on an attorney that's across the street from you to handle your case. You have the option um, to, to look at specialists um, from across the nation that can handle these cases. Now I know a lot of people who are watching, the first thing they're thinking is, I can't afford that big national law firm. How can a disabled person who's unable to work ever afford to hire a qualified attorney like you? So the good news is all three of these systems um, allow for the attorney to be employed under what's called the contingency fee arrangement, which basically means is that we take a percentage of whatever we collect if we win, and if we don't win the case for the claimant, um, then the claimant owes us nothing. So what that basically means is anybody with uh, a viable case um, can hire the best attorneys under a contingency fee arrangement regardless of their financial condition. So I'm going to say this clearly so people understand. There are no attorney fees up front. If the case wins, you get a percentage of the winnings. If the case does not win, they still don't pay you, right? That's correct. Okay. Mark, I got to say, the information you've given us today will be so helpful to so many of our viewers and their families who have been denied their disability benefits. If you or a loved one has been denied Social Security disability benefits, call the Mark Whitehead and Associates Law Firm today for more information and a free case review. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching our program. Until next time, I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. This advertisement is paid for by Mark Whitehead & Associates Attorneys at Law, LLP.